Good morning everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119 Also HarbachElectronics.com Please like, share, and subscribe. So I've been waiting on parts for all sorts of amps. Parts came for this amp and the Dentron I have here. Um, they came yesterday, so... Actually not yesterday, they came uh, Saturday, I'm sorry. Today is Monday, so... I'm going to get to work on this, get it done. This thing needs a lot of work. So someone tried to fix the parasitic suppressors. Leads must have snapped and they lengthened them. So getting a new parasitic board, replacing the plate choke. Replace these components over here that someone changed. Someone put the... <laughs> the uh, LEDs on the inside here instead of behind the bezel for each meter so I'll fix all that someone changed the shunt resistor, I'm going to put the proper one in it has different switches, I'll put the right ones in it's pretty, like, uh, pretty messed up so I'll redo all that let's not have the bias mod not have the string of diodes back there on the board, so I'll add that. Replace the SO239s. I'll add two gas discharge tubes. Put the socket down there. And, um, take care of anything else, and I'll go over it all at the end. It's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, awesome customer service, and the SO239s come from masking systems. Okay, so I'm gonna get to work. See you guys in a bit, stay tuned. So, I added the bias diodes, did the bias, part of the bias mod, new SO239s. I forgot to mention that someone changed the mic padding caps over here for 80 and 160, so I'm gonna put the right ones in. Also has the wrong gauge cord so I'm going to put the right cord on it someone changed the cord at some point so a lot of little things but she's going to be better than new and this is a good one it's an older one okay so I'm going to get back to work see you guys soon stay tuned okay so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811 I tested it in all the bands and now I'm on 20 that's where the customer wants to see it working on Got the radio on 20 meters. 1KW slug. Go ahead, key the amp. Audio hello, audio hello, hello, hello. 600 right there. Audio hello, audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, hello, hello. Roughly 50 watts to get it out. Uh, audio hello, 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 hello. Tit, 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 tit. Audio. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Let me show you the voltage. Okay, so I'll let the tubes cool off and I'll pull the cover off and show you everything I did. Stay tuned. See you soon. Okay, we're back with the completed amp with the cover off. So, first off, placed all the switches, bias modification, fixed all the components over here, put the proper ones in. Trace was damaged in a couple spots, so I did my best to work around it. New meter shunt resistor. Put the LEDs inside the meter movements instead of having them in back. I re removed the incandescent bulbs that were still in there that were no good. Also the other LED that was just connected with the wires twisted around the connection points. Added the proper resistor in series with the negative side, the dropping resistor. Clean the output rotary switch with deoxy gold. Added the proper mica caps for the padding of the load air variable capacitor for the output network. Fix solder joints, tighten hardware, new parasitic board, new plate choke, added gas discharge tubes to the base of the tube socket. All three are in parallel, so you only need one per side. Compressed the clips for the sockets and also cleaned the socket clips with deoxy gold, clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold, added the diodes for the bias on the board back there. The earlier ones did not have that. 
replace the SO239s with high quality ones from Max Gain Systems. Awesome people, great people over there. Uh, clean the TR slash BIOS relay with Deoxy Gold. A brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, awesome customer service. Had a 15 amp fuse and a 12 amp fuse. Now it has the now it has uh, both 12 amp fuses. Replaced the power cord. Now it has the proper power cord. Everything's all zip tied, nice, nice. And uh, that's about it. So if you need an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Websites are ampreparguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I have parts for the Dentron, so I'll get on that tomorrow. And I have more boxes, so I'm doing them as quick as I can. I have other stuff I'm doing, too. But parts have been taking a little while lately, so wait. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. 73. One thing. I also replaced the indicator receptacle holder thing. It had the older style and it kept pushing in. So that has also been replaced. So that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Catch you all later. 73.